Hey, this is just going to be a little short video about uh, Baron Trunnion kits and some stuff that we see all the time. So st stay tuned. We'll get into it. So all of these, and, and again, it's just maybe the nature of the beast because we've seen it in other applications also. But these Baron style Trunnion kits, they just pretty much eat their self constantly and that they just won't live. I mean, maybe there's some that will live, but we've seen many different brands come through and they all live a very short life. So this set, I, I do not know where it came from. Uh, you know, it doesn't have any markings on it, but I've seen a lot of other ones like this. So I'm, I'm sure it's a, it's a common deal. I mean, it looks like some other ones that we see, but this set came out of the, the LS nine deal. And it was a really low mile situation on that engine. And I wasn't even going to fool with the training kit cause it, it was supposed to be new. And I said, well, you know, let me just check a couple of them just to make sure. And this is the first one that I disassembled. And we went ahead and disassembled all 16 after this one, and they all look, look the same. But let me, let me put it up under the viewfinder so you can really see. So come over here close. I, I don't, I think you can see that, but I mean, it's just eat up where the Baron rides. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this light off here so it'll maybe make it so so we're just gonna yeah you can really see so can you yeah so this is the factory machined line and from here to here is where the baron's riding and they've got right here in the back up against the shoulder of the main body they've got a relief groove for the for the bearing so the bearing is actually running off into the the relief groove that they put in the corner so let me roll it a little bit i mean you can see how bad the steel is abraded and if you look if you can see like over here if you can see the, the surface finish is is pretty rough I mean, it looks shiny visually, but when you put it under the microscope, you can really see the surface finish is rough. And, and, and I think that's probably some of the problem. It's not all of the problem, but we, we see some, like this one's actually war and you can see like it's flaking. Let me get it up here, right here, right, right. Uh, I was trying to glare. Like right here, you can see the end of its travel like it's flaking out and so a lot of times and again i'm assuming let's roll it on over to the other side yeah i mean you can i think you can see that surface finish i mean it's like garbage it looks like absolute trash so yeah so i think what's happening and then you there's the other side where the wire starts again I think what's happening is, you know, we got this material, whatever, you know, mystery meat that is. And then we got this roller bearing and, and these needles are just, these needles here are hard as Chinese arithmetic. And then we got this deal and it's hard and they're just not happy together. And I think that it's a surface layer, like it, the, the heat treat depth is probably not super deep. It's probably like a case hardening. And again, I'm assuming, cause I don't know what material this is, but I do know that I, I bet we're gonna go over and test it, but I'll bet that it is way hard. And generally something's gotta be softer and something's got to be harder. And I remember back in the Harley days, some people made roller rocker arms and they used bearings like this and they used a tool steel shaft for the rocker to ride on. And every single one we took apart looked just like that or the bearing rides. And then later on in life, people figured out that that bearing just wasn't gonna work. And they started doing what we do, putting bushings in them 
and then once you put a bushing in it, it lived forever. No, no more problems. So, and you can, so let's, yep. So th this is our trunnion. It's rim polished or chemically polished. And so you can see the difference. I think you can see in the camera and we'll just do it back to back here. So you look at that surface finish it's still, it's still rocking a little bit. You look at that surface finish and then you look at that surface finish and you can see, like I'm trying to get it turned. You can see like just, oh, it's just squiggly lines where like they turned it and it's like a turned finish, not a ground finish. And it's just, it's just rough. Let me bring this one back and my i mean again mine ain't perfect you know by no means are they perfect but the surface finish is much better than than theirs than this, than this bearing deal so and then you know like say we got a, a bronze bushing and it, it just you know something has got to be sacrificial and these don't wear, well, I mean, I say they don't wear out. I mean, we've done a lot of testing and we just don't have any problems with these. And you got this nice polished surface and you got a nice finish in the bushing. And if there's plenty of oil, it just, it just works. All right, so we're going to check the hardness on the, the Baron style one and just see what it is. So that's like 58, just almost 58, which is pretty hard. And then let's see, generally ours are like around, right around 50. We try to keep them right around 50. We use a lot, it seems like, and, and this is just from hearsay, talking to folks, I believe that most people are using, for these bearing trunnions, they're using um, 52100 bearing steel is what they're using to make them. Now, I could be wrong. They could be using, you know, for all I know, you know, like 4140 or something. I, I mean, I, I can't say 100%. Um, yeah, so we like 46 on that side. And these are case, ours are case hardened. Um, the material is slightly proprietary, so I'm not gonna say what material we're using because we use something different than everybody else. But again, we have really good success with them. So the, we, we started out using 52100 and then we moved to something that I feel like is a little better. Yeah, so it's, it's 50 out more toward the edge. So, and that's usually where we see somewhere between, you know, 48 and 52 is, is usually where they land. And like I say, they, they work really good, but hopefully, uh, you know, that sheds some light. Cause like I say, I get calls all the time with these things that have failed in short order. And, you know, people think that they did something wrong, but it, it's, it's not an installation issue. It's just a, a, a material dissimilar metal issue. And, uh, and I think that just the bearing's too hard and for the application. And, you know, I hadn't checked many, uh, like just roller rocker arms for small block Chevrolets and stuff. I'm gonna, and I've got some used here and I'm gonna pop some apart and we're gonna see if they got the same problem. But a lot of roller rocker arms use, not all, but like, you know, the comps and some of the bigger steel bodied rockers, they use a really large trunnion and a real large bearing. <clears throat> so I'd be interested to see if this problem exists in those, but I have definitely seen this problem in, in rocker arms, like uh, some of the narrow body vortex style 
uh, that run real small bearings like these do. I've seen this same problem, but uh, but anyway, hopefully that helps and uh, and you know it'll help you make a decision what you want to buy. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.